Good afternoon, Mr. Walton. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm all right. You're about ready to get done? Huh? Are you ready to get done? I'm ready to go home. Got a long ride. Okay. You've got to speak in the mic. I say, yeah, I'm ready to go home. Got a long ride. All right. Now, you say you're 29, right? Yeah. And you're going to be 30 soon? Yeah. Okay. And that's a legit 29. It's not like when I tell people I'm 59, right? My birthday, 9-20-1994. Okay. So you have been sort of in the lifestyle of the streets and the streets, you know what I mean by that, right? Yeah. You've been in the street lifestyle, you said yesterday, since you were born. Yeah? No, that's not what I said. Okay. I thought you said since you were born, kind of, kiddingly, and then changed it to maybe since you were six or seven years old. I said that's all I knew since I was born. That's all you knew. That's all I knew is gangster disciples since I was born. But I initially didn't start gangbanging or doing any of that till I was like seven, eight years old. That was my initial word. All right. And that's pretty young, right? It's regular. So how old were you when you were first met Duck? We was in, we was going to, oh God, I got to think of the name of the preschool. It was a pre-K that kept us, that kept all the kids in the projects. Doolittle, Doolittle was a high school. I mean, the grammar school. I can't think of the, I can't think of the daycare we was in. Yeah. But basically since daycare. I mean, I knew him my whole life. We stay in the same project, same buildings, hung, did everything together. Okay. And you guys were about the same age then? No, Doug older than me. How much older is he? A year. A year older, so that's about the same age, right? Yeah. All right. And how old is his sister? His little sister? Yeah. Why is she important? I'm just asking. Okay, next question. Don't ask me about my baby mama. Okay. Well, how many kids... You said you have five kids. My kids don't matter. That's not what we were discussing here today, sir. Okay, but you said you had five kids. That's not what we are discussing today, sir. Next answer, please. Your Honor, can we have a sidebar, please? Yes. Let me ask in this way. Are all your kids with Duck's sister? No, they not. Okay. And you've told us how since you got out of jail, you sort of changed your life, right? In a way, I'm a YouTuber. You're a YouTuber, right? Sure, that's what I get paid to do. I get paid to YouTube, come up with content skits, you know? And occasionally I give them story time from 63rd, so I paint out a vivid picture or something like that, a topic that I might pick out of the comments. One of the fans might comment like, uh, give me a story on old Libby or give me a story on this person. And then it's like I said earlier today, I only speak on the dead when it comes to stuff like that. So you don't talk about what's going on now. You talk about or what went on in the past. You talk about people who were deceased. That's it, right? Yeah. Okay. That's my content. And that's how you make a living? Yeah. Are you also a rapper? No, I ain't no real rapper, but I just started rapping. I've been rapping maybe a couple of months now. It's almost a year now, and I'm actually pretty good. Okay, do you have any gold records? Uh, no. Do you? No. Oh, okay. All right. So I want to ask you about the last thing, the Government Act. I don't recall. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I'll get it. Can you see that? No, there's nothing here. I'm sorry. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I see it. 
Judge, can we publish this? The government already did. Yes. Okay, you see that? That's the, that's Oblock. That's over 50 million views, right? Uh Uh-huh. That's a lot of views. Yeah. Now, do you know who saw this video? You say, can you repeat that, please? Yeah. Do you know who saw this video? Who saw it? Yeah. 50 million people. Okay. Do you know if it's 50 million different people or people reviewing it repeatedly? Unfortunately, I do not work for the tech company, but from what I know is, you know, YouTube and certain streaming sites do not allow the same page to repeatedly watch nothing because they're paying you off of it. So once you phone play it twice, it won't get another view unless you click another video, click another video, then go back. Okay. And that's facts. So you can watch something two times in a row on YouTube. And then you've got to watch someone else's video. You got to watch five more things, let 10 more commercials ride before you can even go back and give that video another view. Okay. So you can look over at the side of the room on the left here and tell me, do you know if any of these people ever saw this video? I don't listen to brother, man. That's duck we talking about. We talking on... This the big guy, of course. They saw his shit. Everybody see his shit. He spanking. He spanked their ass when it came to these lyrics, bro. Wasn't nobody fucking with Duck with the wordplay. So, of course, they heard it. It's disrespectful. So, when... What do you mean that he spanked their ass with slide? Pay attention. Belt their ass, boy. No, let me stop playing. Seriously, though. Like... When you heard Slide, like, Duck brought a whole different, he brought a whole different energy. Like, he left the whole room when he do, ah, come on, man. It do hit different. Let's start there. Okay, but when you say he smacked them, you mean that was a diss record? I mean, honestly, they might took it as a diss song. I really feel like this was my boy way in. Like, he needed a bubblegum song. He needed a song that was bubble. Do you know what a bubblegum song is? Yeah, I grew up on them. I'm quite sure. Do you know who David Cassidy is? It went over your head. The Monkees? Look, it went over your head, big homie, because you say you grew up on it, so I know you don't know what a bubblegum song is, so I'm going to explain it to you. All right, what's a bubblegum song? A bubblegum song is a song, a trending song, a song that you could have somebody to repeat over and over just like they chewing gum. That's a bubblegum song. It keeps playing in your head, right? It's something that make you want to rap it over and over. Like, damn, that's a good ass song. Okay, so it had a nice beat, good lyrics, right? Good song. And he bought the energy. Okay, and no one shot at him after he put out this song, did they? Bullshit. Huh? Bullshit. What's bullshit? That you just said nobody shot at him. My brother got shot at his arm after this song. Get Right got shot at his leg. I mean, I can keep going with this shit. Sir, you have to slow down. I can't understand you. I said my brother got shot in his arm. Get right got shot in his leg. Did you get that? Yes, I did. I can keep now, like I was saying, I can keep going with this shit. That's a lie. That shit you just painting right there is a lie. Okay, so when did this song come out? I was in jail when it came out. It came out in 2017. Duck was shot in his shoulder what I think maybe two months later on the way to go perform this same song. So what we getting at again? So two months after this song came out, Duck was shot. Is that right? At least two, three months later. All right. He was going to perform this song, this exact song slide. When he got shot. 
yeah, he got shot. He got shot in his shoulder heading to his show, heading to perform, to go make some money. Okay. And where was he when he got shot? That I can't. I don't know. Once again, I'm not going to say it for you again. I was in jail. I don't think you heard me the first time. I did hear you. So why you ask me again? But was he in Chicago? Was he in Chicago? Of course, yes. Okay, so he's going to a show in Chicago after this song. Was actually the show was in like Indiana, if I'm not mistaken. I wasn't there though. So don't let me get the lot. All right. But this was 2017. For sure, you ever look at his medical record too and recall it? Because you just stated that he never got shot at when the song came out. And that's a lie. Do your homework. That homework wasn't right, gang. Do your homework. That shit, it wasn't right, gang. All right, Mr. Walton. You told us that King Vaughn was your favorite op, right? For sure. And you told us that nothing could happen to Ja'Kyra. You talked about Ja'Kyra getting killed, correct? For real. And I understand that's your sister and all that, right? Yeah. So you were in jail from when? 15. Well, I eventually got out. And I got locked up in 14. Bonded out. Went back to jail. And then I was locked up from then all the way to 2019. Till 2019? So from 2015 to 2019, you were locked up. Yeah. All right. And are you aware that Vaughn was also locked up in jail from 2014 to 2018? You must don't know who I am. Do you know? Do you know who I am? Have you watched any of my YouTube clips? I watched some of them, yes. But then they stopped playing. Okay, well let me just stop bullshitting and kick right to it. Yeah, you know, I am aware that Vaughn was in jail. He was in jail for something else. I was actually trying to lock in his cell with him and beat the fuck out of him. I was trying to break his fucking face. Okay. Sure. That's what he's because I said it in the interview. That's what I asked you. Do you know who I am? Uh huh. I did run into him in jail. They put a keep separate on us too. Okay. So who are you? Just a regular person, a YouTuber. Just a YouTuber? Just like you're a lawyer, I'm a YouTuber. You like to use drugs to cope with things, don't you? Uh, what type of drugs are we speaking upon? Well, you like to smoke pot, right? That's legal. Everybody smokes. Like 80% of the population smokes. So, okay. Right. And when you make your YouTube videos, you're always smoking a big, a big almost cigar like size joint right oh what you gonna tell me how much money I had in my pocket too while I was doing it why do me smoking actually legal cannabis right it's not like it's illegal right it's legal you like to drink cough syrup to deal with things no I don't I don't drink cough syrup try again do you like to take Percocet? Hey, excuse me, Your Honor. Could I say this? His whole... He ain't do his homework, you hear me? Because if he did his homework, he would know that I don't even like cough syrup. Perks. My baby mom, my daughter, my mom both eat off of fentanyl. So you're sitting here telling me a drug that I do is crazy. I'm not telling you. I'm asking you. No, that's what you did say. You said you do in your interviews. You never see me do no shit like that in my interview, sir. Okay, I'm just asking you if you do. Liar, liar. How about Xanax? No, don't do Xanax. Sorry, try again. How about I just told you that I don't do no opioids. No way, no perks. So let's go somewhere else. I'm telling you I don't do it. My baby mama, my daughter mom is dead. Do you know how I feel that? Look now, your own child on her face, and you can't explain why her fucking mama not here. But you want to tell me I'm doing a drug that I know for a fact, gang, that scares me. I know it took her mama. I'm all she got. 
I'm her last parent. Why would I be doing this, especially on an interview where I'm a motivational speaker for the youth? How my interview went? Fuck it, let me see. Because his homework all the way off. Let me see, because his homework all the way off. I'm sorry, I can't hold my tongue. You just made up a lot of lies that wasn't like if you hit one real thing in there. Okay, I'm going to make up some more. I'd be cool, cuz. What about Ritalin? Whatever you said, nothing but, nothing but a lie. And trying to make it sound like good. Rakeem, how about Ritalin? Ritalin? Yeah. Oh, man, I ain't did that since I was in grammar school. Fifth grade, big boy, my mama took me off that shit. That shit had me in the corner slobbing. And she didn't like that, you know? I'm my mama's favorite. I'm her favorite child. Like, I'm the one who she do everything for, you feel me? So anything that made me out, she cut out. She cut that out quick. My mama, she working in the hospital. Did you know that, fool? I did. Your OG is a nurse, right? No, she is not a nurse. She works in a hospital? She's not a nurse, though. Okay. Were you ever prescribed Xanax? Huh? Why? Why? Wait, why you keep going back to Xanax? I just told you, sir, that my daughter mom passed away off opioids, right? So it's like you keep going back to it. So what is you saying? Like, why are you going? Because you confusing me, bro. I'm asking you. Your Honor, can we have a sidebar? Yes.